Next up, we have Patrick Shire of Yale Cordage to close out the day. Um, you can ask questions during his presentation by using the Q&A window, and Patrick will answer your questions at the end of his session. So this time, I'd like to turn it over to Patrick and Yale Cordage. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, we have a short presentation. Olivia is going to queue that up and, and get that going for us. And like Justin said, if you have any questions, uh, use the Q&A box at the bottom and we will get those questions answered. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mark Halverson. I'm one of the regional sales managers here at Yale Cordage. This afternoon, I'm going to be talking to you all about the synthetic heavy lift solutions being made available here at Yale. So as a manufacturer of uh, performance rope, rigging equipment and slings, we have seen a recent increase in demand for some of our more heavy lift specialized products. Of course, this uh, covers some of the areas like offshore wind farm construction and domestically we're seeing equipment getting heavier and larger with a need for higher capacity slings. And with this, we're also finding that a lot of our customers and potential customers are looking for the advantages that synthetics offer. So. In these advantages, we can't help but uh, note first and foremost, the weight savings. So when you compare what is used uh, historically like a chain or wire rope compared to something that we're making out of high performance fiber, um, the weight savings is huge. So with a lighter weight, heavy lifting sling, you're immediately finding something that's safer to handle. Uh, if it's a, a sling that somebody is trying to secure to a load point, or having something stationed up overhead. Should something fall, it's not going to potentially harm one of the workers that is using this equipment. Uh, on top of the handability of something that's lighter weight, we're finding uh, customer feedback very positive in the way of efficiency and productivity on the job site. Uh, faster rigging times when one person is all that's required to secure or uh, position one of our heavy lifting slings versus the historical need for multiple uh, persons or even um, machinery like forklifts. Uh, the advantages are also go down into uh, longevity. So when we have a product that won't corrode, rust or freeze uh, out in the elements um, and prevents injury at a higher rate, uh, also allowing you to lift higher capacity loads in smaller diameter then you find a product that's very well suited to take care of a lot of jobs uh, that would have otherwise been left uh, strictly to, to metal. The first product that I'd like to talk about today is the Fortis 2 Sling. The Fortis Sling is one of our newest release products here at Yale Cordage. It is a patented product, so it's exclusive to Yale only. And we're really excited about all of the different things that this particular sling has been able to achieve out in the field. So this product is a continuous piece of our Unitrex parallel core rope. Uh, that means it's made out of an HMPE or high molecular polyethylene fiber inner core wrapped in a neoprene uh, tape layer with an outer high tenacity polyester sleeve. So it's one continuous piece of Unitrex in a specially woven design which offers an extremely rigid and uh, abrasion resistant product that still maintains flexibility, handability, and a lightweight uh, profile so that it makes rigging and loading and securing very easy and seamless for even a single individual. So this particular sling is the lightest and, and most durable multi-part sling on the market, uh, hands down. It is an extremely um, high performing product that we have seen hold up to the test of time here in New England in some of the harshest conditions imaginable. We have these slings being used right now, uh, right next to the ocean environment mm -hmm. with a high salinity content, harsh, harsh uh, winters, sweltering summer heat and humidity. It's a hydrophobic sling, so an HMPE core is not going to absorb water. So it's not susceptible to freezing, corrosion, um, any of the other things that you might find detrimental to steel wire rope chain. One of the most consistent pieces of positive feedback that we're getting from our customer base 
currently using the Fortis out in the field is the weight savings. So it's something I've already noted above and uh, something you'll certainly hear me repeat again throughout the rest of this product presentation, but it's an important piece. And, and if, if anything, it might be the most significant advantage to using a high performance fiber uh, or synthetic heavy lifting sling from Yale Cordage. When you look at the Fortis, for example, you're getting a, a sling capable of meeting or exceeding the ratings of their wire sling chain and uh, polyester round sling counterparts, but at a fraction of the weight, one sixth of the weight of a traditional wire sling and the Fortis is able to achieve everything and more. So with that kind of savings, you're now finding less personnel needed to safely rig and secure uh, these slings in the field. Uh, less equipment is needed. And uh, if you're discussing offshore wind farm projects, you now have an avenue of, of saving on gas costs for transporting uh, the materials and the accessories and the tools needed to one of these offshore job sites. If you can now have six times the amount of slings on one load uh, out to a site, you're now going to have uh, the ability to cut down on multiple round trips. So we're finding a, a lot of people are, are realizing this benefit after they've used uh, these products for, for some time and, and it's invaluable. It's something that we're constantly trying to improve upon. There's only so far we can go in cutting down the weight on, on these kind of um, heavy lifting slings, but it's the uh, probably the most significant piece that we're getting really, really great reception from. Two years ago, Yale Cordage invested in a 1.3 million pound test bed, which we later named the Judge. Uh, this test bed currently sits in Saco, Maine at our primary manufacturing facility. And it's really opened a number of doors for us as far as helping to position Yale Cordage as one of the worldwide leaders in manufacturing high performance synthetic heavy lifting slings. So we're all really excited about the different things that's allowed us to do as far as proof loading, testing, research and development. And in this particular example, we're showcasing uh, one of our in-house built Forda slings uh, being brought to a break uh, not once, but twice. So in the first picture, you'll see the Fortis broke at an impressive 615,194 pounds. But after we broke it once, we brought it to break again. And on the second time around, we were able to achieve a remarkable 489,406 pounds. So what this does is it shows really the impressive nature of the construction and the resilience um, behind this product. So we would never want any compromised product being used and it should be taken out of service immediately if this were to ever happen. But it really is an achievement to see something of this capacity hold up to that percentage of its initial rating a second time around after already being broken. So we've looked at some of the more uh, unique product offerings at Yale with the Fortis Sling. And now we're gonna take a look at something a little bit more familiar, which is our loops and industrial loops manufactured at Yale. So these are a familiar sight to most people. They are, uh, in a sense, an endless sling or a round sling. Uh, but what they do a little bit differently than the competition out there uh, is they achieve extremely high ratings and capacity with a small diameter. So these uh, particular loops are made with a proprietary process in-house utilizing uh, multiple strand endless braids of our HMPE fibers. So uh, using high molecular polyethylene fiber, we're able to get very, very high strength ratings, upwards of 5 million pound capacity in vertical lifts. These uh, particular products are used in very small corridor areas where uh, diameter and fit is of concern. And one of the most um, a uh, highly regarded benefit to this particular product at Yale is its 1.1 to 1 D to D ratio or its bending radius. So when you look at comparable products to our loop, you'll find that uh, it, it requires a larger diameter rope to achieve anything close to the ratings that these have. So having a smaller diameter allows for a better D to D ratio or bending radius for some of those more technical lifts that are gonna be done out there in the field. 
If you look below, you'll see a picture of one of our industrial loops being constructed on a workbench. In this picture here, you'll see the internal HMPE core uh, laid out next to an HMPE outer sleeve. So with our industrial loop line, we have a double HMPE core and then outer sleeve. It's entirely internal load bearing, so the core is doing all of the lifting and is used for the entire rating or capacity of the sling. The exterior is entirely for abrasion resistance and protection. Uh, we do offer industrial loops with an outer polyester sleeve, just depending on what a customer or end user's needs are for their job or their lift. Uh, if you look at the uh, graphic there to the right, you'll just see a little bit better view of how this loop is put together. Uh, we do include tracers not only for identification, but also helps to identify any potential fading in the colors, the solution dyed yarns that are used in there so that it helps make a judgment call as to whether there's been excessive uh, UV exposure and degradation because of that exposure. In these final two pictures, you'll see a number of our industrial loops being positioned to complete a very impressive lift uh, being done at Ingalls Shipyard. So shipbuilders, ship fabricators around the world are an extremely valuable customer for Yale Cordage. And in this example, it really shows one of the values that our synthetic high-performing slings have offered, which would be their non-marring capabilities. So if you have any final finished product, whether it's a structure to a building or a painted uh, hull of a ship or a piece to a boat, you don't want any lift to compromise the aesthetics. And that would mean scratches, cuts, or even discoloration from something like a web sling being used under high load. So with our synthetic offerings, uh, ship fabricators are able to safely lift very, very large pieces of their uh, final product safely, securely, and without compromising uh, the aesthetics that will be seen after the ship has been completed. So that is all the time we have here this afternoon. Uh, before you all take off, I just want to emphasize that here at Yale Cordage, we all share an extreme passion for providing you the perfect solution for all of your heavy lifting needs. So we pride ourselves every day in manufacturing the highest performing heavy lifting slings available in the market. There's no job too small or too large for us to handle. We can do it all. If you have a job upcoming that you're aware of, or if you're in the planning stages of a job that you know needs to be completed in the near future, we encourage you to reach out to Yale Cordage directly either at the main corporate phone number listed here, or you can visit us at YaleCordage.com for some additional information. Once you reach out to Yale Cordage directly, we will put you in touch with the appropriate sales representative who will help guide you through the entire process until your job is completed. So I want to thank everyone again for their time this afternoon, and I hope everyone has a great evening. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we appreciate your time. Certainly, uh, if you have any questions, just again, use the Q&A box and we will get you the answers. And I wanna thank Emily and Justin for this fantastic opportunity. Um, they worked very hard and it worked out fantastic. Thank you. So Patrick, a few questions have come in. Uh, the first one okay. is, what design factor are the four slings built to? Uh, they are five to one. Five to one. And uh, what is the D to D in the body for a Fortis sling and basket? Um, I do not know the D to D ratio. Uh, I'm about three weeks into the job, so I will get you that answer. <laughs> and and uh, no, I am not sorry that I'm an Eagles fan. <laughs> We're in first place. Very good. Uh, do you have anything to add to close out your session? Uh, I do not. Um, again, I thank everyone for coming. I appreciate your time. And we do have, uh, we do have one more questions? question. Oh, yeah, one uh, more. Um, on the double break you showed, uh, what was the second break as compared to the overall break strength? Do you know that? Yes, that's a great question. Um, so you notice that the, I believe the sling broke at 500 some thousand pounds. And then the second break uh, was in the 400,000 pound range and that's very unique that the sling uh, experiences a catastrophic failure but it still has the ability to maintain a very high load um, 
which I don't know if there's another product out there that can do that. Um, so I, I thought that was amazing when the first time when I saw that occur. All right. Well, thank you, Patrick.